welcome back to my channel. I am forever Mimi coming to you because today I am making a meatloaf with brown gravy. Okay, most people make a uh, meatloaf with um, tomato sauce, tomato paste, or whatever, but you can also do a gravy on top of your meatloaf as well. So, I am using a half of my ground beef here. I'll get that out in a minute. And this is, I forgot what, I forgot what percentage it was, but I am using half of my uh, ground chuck. I'm going to use some Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, some pepperic, some pepper. And I'm, the reason why I'm using just this is because this has a lot of salt in it. You really don't need anything else. I got some toast crumbs, just some regular toast bread, and I just chopped it up. And some onion and bell pepper. So let's get this on a roll, y'all. I'm going to go and um, clean this up, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I am starting on clean hands. And I don't know, I already kind of broke it up a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead on and put my onion and bell pepper in here. And then just start just putting the breadcrumbs and stuff off of here. Now, you can chop them up as fine. You can chop them up a little bit more finer than what I did. I just chopped this up in my chopper. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead on and do my Worcestershire sauce. And you don't have to put that much on that now because remember that I already got salt in it. So that should be enough. Or, or you can measure it. So pepper -y. Some black pepper. Okay. Y'all know I put a lot of stuff on there so I don't have to go back and uh, re season it. And this is garlic. So I have to go back and re season and make sure it's all good up in there. So I'm going to take my hands now and I'm going to just mix everything up. Now, if you don't uh, want to use your hands for this process, you can always use some gloves. There's gloves out there. You can use them if you want to. But me, I don't mind. Ooh, I smell the witch's sauce in here. Yes. And I have used witch's sauce before in my meatloaf. So, yeah. It just gives it a good flavor, y'all. This all here. I'm going to transfer it over here to my pan. Okay. Take it and just try to flatten it out and then start rounding it off. This is going to shrink anyway. And you may want to add a little water to it at the bottom so it can catch on to something because it will start burning. Okay. Let me go grab a little water. bowl that I just took the meat out of. And that's it. 
take some foil. One more thing, y'all. One more thing. I forgot my parsley plates. <laughs> okay. That be All right, we're going to put this in the, the oven. has already been on at 350. And I'm going to do maybe about a... Some people say it don't take long. I don't say some people. But I've heard that... Ground meat, baked ground meat really don't take long, but I put it on an hour. So I think maybe an hour or less than an hour, it should be done. So we're going to pop this in the oven. make a meal of y'all this shrink <laughs> so next time I'm gonna have to use a little bit maybe like two pounds of meat so I can have me a nice little size cause this here <sighs> is what it is y'all this is all the grease that was in there okay I got the gravy over here so now I'm about to just cut I'm going to just cut it so when I pour the gravy in there, it can get in between the meat so it can have a nice little flavor to it. Just like you do regular uh, meatloaf. You put your tomato sauce, your tomato paste or tomato sauce or whatever you put on there. Y'all see how it cook good. Doing the best I can do. it out a little bit so when I pour the gravy on it, it can get all in there. in between it so the gravy can get in there. I see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna put it 
back in the oven. I'm gonna cover it up. And I'm gonna see y'all back in maybe about, I say maybe about 20 minutes. And it should be good today. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I am back. I am back. Look at this here. So, when you don't have that, see that, y'all? When you don't have that tomato sauce or anything, you can always hook this baby up with some gravy. Look at that. And then the gravy got all up in that too. flakes on it. I'm drinking some pineapple juice, 100%, unsweet. There it is, and some ice. So thank you all for coming in the kitchen with me, watching me make this meatloaf and gravy. So when you don't have that tomato sauce, you can always hook it up with some gravy. I will see you all another video.